neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Now the title of this article comes from the book of Job chapter 5 verse 22 and I just wanted to do a, a video on this real quick to show you brothers that when, when, when shit hits the fan here in America when there's an economy collapse and there's a financial collapse and there's total anarchy in the streets and there's lions and bears and all kinds of vicious animals roaming the streets looking for food and, and people to consume know that if you're of the elect the Lord is going to protect you from these these different vicious animals which is going to be Roman you know which is going to be Roman around Babylon now the title of this video is called why isn't Gator attacking you course this morning had uh, three people in here doing uh, my underwater heater tour hanging out with Casper a little bit. Big fella. Look how cute he is, huh? Oh, but he's got his, he's got his hand up on my arm here. You hanging out, big guy? Now, uh, just because I guess I haven't talked about this in a while, I've been working with Casper for about 13 years now, and as you see, he's very, very well trained, very, very smart, and, um, We've been doing the underwater gator tour together for about five or six years now. And so he understands the tour, knows what to do, knows what his job is, and then he gets rewarded for it. I'm going to give him a treat right now, actually. So if I move over here and pull him over. Casper, come. See, turn right around there. Come. Come here. Come. Good boy. There you go. Watch that down. There you go, big fella. I hear him. Got a little bit of a, kind of like a little purr right there. So, if the Lord can close the mouth of this alligator on a guy who appears to be Edomite, you know, because, well, I mean, you know, the scriptures do say that Esau was a cunning hunter of the field. So, you know, he's been training with this alligator for 13 years. Now, if the Lord really wanted to, he, he could have put the spirit on this alligator to eat this man. To, to absolutely attack this man. You know? But he didn't. Just like, just like how the Lord closed the, mouth, the mouths of the lions... When Daniel was in the lion's den, the Lord can also close the mouths of alligators too. At the end of the day, the Lord is the one who determines whether if an animal attacks somebody or not. So if you see somebody, you know, getting attacked by like a dog or, or a, a baboon or a, a bear or a wolf, that's because that was judgment from the Lord. And you must also know that the scriptures speak about spirits created for vengeance. Okay? Now, maybe it wasn't this guy's time to go. But know that uh, when, when Jacob's trouble comes, well, like it tells you here, the Lord is going to shield you from, from, the, from the vicious animals of the field. Job chapter 5 verse 22, at destruction and famine... Thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Okay? For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. You see? 
Okay, the, the Holy Scriptures also tells you that that the Most High Yahweh, you know, through his son Yahweh, the Most High Yahweh, he's the father of all spirits. He's the father of all spirits. So the Lord, the Lord controls the spirits that's inside of your your your, your pets. If you have if you have any pets, the Lord controls the spirit in, in, inside of your pets. He controls the spirits inside of birds. He controls the spirits and in, 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 in inside of a. Uh, So uh, this is the book of Numbers, chapter twenty-six, ch chapter twenty-seven, verse sixteen. It says, "The Lord, the power of the spirits of all flesh, shall set a man over the congregation." Okay. Now, is there not a, is there not a spirit inside the flesh that is alligator? Of course, there is a spirit inside of that alligator. Okay. So, so, so the Lord, so, 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 so the Lord commanded this alligator not to attack this man. Okay. It says, and they fell upon their faces and said, "O oh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall no man sin, and, and wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation?" Now let's go up here to Hebrews chapter twelve, verse nine. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be? In subjection until the father of spirits and live so Yahweh he is the father of all spirits okay so you know like 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 when you see all these YouTube videos of, of uh, people who got their faces mauled off by their dogs guess who's responsible for that the Lord is because the Lord the Lord Put the spirit on that dog to maul that person's face off. You know, like like um like that woman with that chimpanzee. You know that. You know, I mean, who knows what could have happened to her to where that chimpanzee ate her face off? Maybe she was having sexual relation relationships with that chimpanzee. You know, the scriptures speak about the scriptures speak about spirits created for vengeance. You know, if you have sex with an animal, man, a hey, you better beware. Cause the Lord might put a revengeful spirit on on, on that that animal, but uh, you know I just wanted to do a quick video, showing showing you know the hopeful members of the elect how we're going to be at peace with the beasts of the field. So you're not going to worry about a wolf attacking you or or a bear attacking you. You're not gonna you're not gonna worry about a tiger or a lion attacking you. I mean, if anything, the Lord might command them to bring you food to eat in the time of famine. How about that? But with that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.